Hey everyone, Cerebral Tackle back again today. But before we get started, please do me a favor, hit like, share, subscribe on this video. Let's get the word out there to help support the channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all so much. Well, today we're going to talk about Mr. Jacob Runyon some more. He's had some stuff off the water occurring that has nothing to do with the We Have Weights and Fish scandal that may very well affect that trial, or at least the outcome of it, and whether he's allowed to walk free between now and then. Back on July 26th of 22, in the Ashtabula Municipal Court, I think I'm saying that right, mouthful right, gotta love those Yankee names, but anyway, Runyon appeared before the court and pled not guilty to a count of domestic violence and a count of unlawful restraint. The victim in this case, as in most cases, was granted a restraining order against Jacob Runyon. He was also let loose on a $3,500 bond. That's in addition to the other $2,500 bond he has in the walleye cheating scandal case. Now, on December 9th of 22, there was a pretrial and there was discovery started on the case. So, you know how that goes. Here we go again. More discovery. But that's the start of this case. Uh, it looked like the prosecution might have been thinking about amending the charges in some way, too. Don't have a whole lot of information on that. The next date in this little saga is February 17th of 23. That's when it's set for a jury status hearing. I don't know how Ohio law works, but I'm assuming that's going to mean there are two sides are going to get together, maybe talk about Vodir questions on questionnaires, and how they're going about selecting the jury. Here's where it gets a little interesting. This trial is set for March 24th of 23. That's only three days before the We Have Weights and Fish trial. If he's found guilty in this case, he'll probably have to show up to the We Have Weights and Fish case already in custody. Not positive there, but there's a good, legitimate chance of it. Also, I don't know how Ohio law works, but it's the kind of thing of multiple felonies kind of snowball into other felonies, creating more lengthy sentences. This could also possibly have an effect on what the judge or jury hands down in the way of sentencing in the We Have Weights and Fish case. Don't know for sure. Ohio isn't my cup of tea, but there's always that possibility because that is like that in many states. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how one case affects the other. But, like I said, March 24th, three days before the We Have Weights and Fish case, he's got a domestic violence and unlawful restraint case to worry about. I'll keep a hold of that, too, and let you guys know how it works out. So, there we go. He may be showing up in bracelets. Who the hell knows? So, as you guys know, I hope you know, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. No, there wasn't a lot on this case. There's not a lot out there, but, you know, please like, share, subscribe. Thank all of you guys. I'm blessed to know y'all. So, y'all know the drill. Until next time, folks, keep it wet.